guys, it's Ethnic Green Living here and I am super excited because in today's video I am doing a collaboration that's hosted by the sweet and beautiful Shasta over at Abiding Farmhouse. She does a lot of um, day in the life videos and although I'm um, new work to her channel, I'm enjoying seeing how her large family does it because uh, she has eight kids and I have five. So. I am super excited. Also joining with us is at home with Jill and her channel is really awesome as well because she does a lot of minimalism and cleaning videos and you guys know I've done multiple videos here on this channel about minimalism. So I am super excited to join in today's collaboration and we are basically talking about homeschool updates, what's working for us, what's not working for us some of our October plans, some of our October goals, and I cannot wait to share these things with you. So go ahead, get your tea, get your coffee, get your warm cider and your blanket, and let's chat. If you're new to my channel, I wanna say welcome to you. And if you would be so kind, would you do me a favor and join my family? Would you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up? It will greatly help uh, my channel and my family. And for that, I will be grateful. So I want to start with you guys on um, what we are doing, what we have going on. I think this is my second update of the year. And I'm not sure if I shared in the first one that we finished up this book right here, but we did. Um, so this was something that we had already done. Also, what we just finished this week was The Kingdom Tales. This was such a good, good book. Oh my goodness, we love these. And I did both of these for read alouds. Um, and this goes with My Father's World, and that's what we're using for this year. If you're new to my channel, I recently did a video where I was talking about my fall book collections. Um, and in that video, I actually read every single book that you see here. And I went ahead and did basically a read aloud live with me. And so I read um, Autumn is for Apple Pie. I read Fall. I read The Biggest Apple Ever, I read When Autumn Comes, and I read What Happens in Autumn. So those were the books that I um, read aloud in that video, and again, if you're new to my channel, I just did a whole library tour. Okay, now I am adding two new books to my homeschool. I did order these a while back when I did all of the science, um, history, I did science, history, science. When I did those hauls, I also picked up this um, Us Born Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary, but it was on back order and so I did not get it yet and I just literally got it today. So perfect timing. And also, I think on yesterday I got this Us Born Lift the Flat Periodic Table and um, I actually have a game that goes with this as well. So I'm really excited about these two books. So those are the books that I'm adding to my curriculum. And also I want to share with you what I am using for my middle schooler, something really cool and exciting that I am adding this year. Okay, and what it is is the book, it's from the book Umbrella and it's a novel study. And um, I have a couple of them now. Um, I have the long, a long walk to water and one crazy summer and the one that we're currently using, which is wonder. And I am so excited about it because it's good. It's good stuff. It's um, from teachers, paid teachers. And uh, the person who makes this is called the book umbrella. And again, it just goes with the movie wonder. So this is what I have added to our curriculum. Uh, but it's really, really good and just that it keeps it really fun and engaging. Um, but also in the fact that it goes with the book that he was already reading. He was reading um, Wonder Alone and With Me. And then as a family, we're reading The Wild Robot. And we're still reading that. So what I have just done is I have taken a look at the um, book or at the study. And then I just took out, you know, the first five that went with the first X amount of chapters. 
And so then he just does those and I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to like um, put them in binders because that's what I've done for everything this year since uh, we moved and we no longer live <laughs> close to our staples and all that. Um, like I used to go and do the binding and you guys know it's my dream to get one of the pro clicks but I haven't got yet so I'm being faithful and diligent and as my son back here says thankful grateful and blessed <laughs> where I am with what I have until I can get what I want so that is key so that is the probably the biggest change that we've done so far and again so this is just the book got it from the library but this is the um the novel study to go along with it so that is really really um great and something like that um we just started it when we first started the book we started it with him and i just kind of doing that one together and the rest of us doing the other one together but for future references um for example long walks of the water i am certainly going to read that aloud to everyone and maybe ask the questions out loud and get a response from the literal ones and then i'll have him do his work on his own so on that note what is working for us so what's working for us is our read alouds and i've just shared you know all the ones that we've completed um doing our study you know doing our read aloud time just throughout you know together etc uh, explode the code this is something that's my first year using explode the code and math mammoth and I have been in love with both of them um, my papa <laughs> he's doing uh, horizons English and math and he's doing phenomenal that little kid is just amazing with that and um, I've used horizons multiple times in the past so I'm really happy with that what's getting better all right let's talk about this because before your girl was kind of having a hard time uh, with this again. It's the same problem, to be honest. I had the first time that I went through it, and that was just feeling behind. The way that the thing, the the um, that the weeks are set up for me, sometimes I can feel overwhelmed and if I'm not on it. So this is like a week at a glance. This is week three, North America and United States. So you can see here like they have every single thing listed out and so at the end of the week you should theoretically have a check mark and be completed every single thing here well that's not always how life works okay and especially around these parts and so what was happening was um the spelling the bible the language arts the english the math drills the math the reading was getting done every day however the geography the science the music art wasn't and so it was at first like you do this and you know that you're done for the week but then it gets to a place like okay well I've done all you know I've done all the other things but not these things so I'm on week three or I'm on week seven so it just kind of got a little tricky for me and then what I just started doing was um taking everything that didn't get done and assigning it one day so any of the weeks anything that didn't get done and then just take one day to just go through and just focus only on that and that way I'm caught up um and so that really has worked behind and um again the reason why I said getting better um is because it, my father's world is good and it's something that works it's just the user it's not the curriculum itself it's just me and the way I process things um, like that so it's a mental thing and it's just me telling myself even if I don't check off all those checks I'm still on point I'm still doing good I'm still slaying and doing bomb things and things that are not even on the list as well so I'm doing phenomenal in that regard and once I had that paradigm shift in my mind I've been doing really good with that also uh, my husband has been helping more so that's um, really help things out a little bit now my plans for October so I would they're really simple <laughs> but let's just get excited about it. like ooh. okay I would like to pick some apples and to take the kids like on the hay maze ride type thing every year in the fall we've always picked apples and I'm hoping that um, even though we've moved we still can continue that tradition on here and my goals for October is really simple to make it good okay 
good books, good smells, good foods. So for those of you who don't know, I do love to throw in um, Ward Off. Um, I am Ward Off inspired. It's definitely something that I love. I've attended the conference or a conference in Santa Cruz, California. Have lots of videos on that. And so one of the things that's big in Ward Off or with Ward Off um, and that you would typically find at a Ward Off school or in a curriculum is baking. And if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I bake, 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 bake all the time. I have a bread maker. We normally make our own loaves of bread in there. And then I normally make pumpkin muffins and blueberry muffins and oh, cinnamon muffins and, and like gingerbread muffins and gingerbread breads. And ooh, oh, I did a um, pumpkin chocolate chip. Oh man, there's just so many. And I didn't want to talk about it because now I'm getting all hungry. Okay. That's focus, Christy. <laughs> and also uh, making soups, letting the kids help peel the vegetables and chop the vegetables. I like to get them uh, involved and hands on. This is what I say. We all eat. We should all help uh, prepare. And so um, that is something that I also love to do in the fall and handcrafts. So most of my children can sew and or they're learning to finish sewing on the machine. They've made masks, they've made all kinds of things. Again, I have videos on that too. And it's a time we do felting, we make candles, um, we do things like that, play with beeswax. And so fall is really the time that I create the most. It's the time when I'm hands on the most because I really love the warmth and smells of the season. Fall is my favorite season and it's just a great time the temperature is good and it's just so many amazing things that happen in the fall and so the last um goal that i have for this month is before this week is over to get my garden planted for the fall oh i have been saying i'm gonna do it for so long and i haven't done it yet but it's not too late i still have time and this is not necessarily a homeschool update um, but it is in a way because homeschool is a part of my life. I believe in it uh, holistically that it's just a whole, that it's all comes together in a totality to make such a wonderful and amazing experience. We have eggs from our chickens. <laughs> a lot of you guys know that um, we got chickens a while back. And so we've been getting eggs. Um, not a lot, <laughs> but we've been getting some every day or one every day or two a day or something like that. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So that's what's happening over here um, with me and the kitties. And I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Tell me how things are going in your homeschool in the comments below. And uh, give me a new book recommendation. Just one book recommendation for boys, because I've got four boys that love outside and that love war <laughs> and that love history and all that good stuff like give me a book that's going to be just really 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 good that we just get our blankets and we just don't want to move from there and then give me a book for princess she just turned four so there's my another homeschool update too um we celebrated her birthday and pumpkin is four and she can write all of her letters and do all of her things so it's really exciting she really has grown and blossomed and my cam cam he is 14 oh my goodness oh my goodness he was the one who first made me a mama so guys be sure to check out the playlist there's something for everyone do not forget to check out these other great mamas because they have some great channels and I know they have some amazing updates and as soon as I get off here I'm gonna go watch myself because I was actually watching a video of Life of Mundane and I'm like let me get off here and make my video but now I'm gonna get back to it because her channel's the bomb. I'll catch you in the next video guys until next time blessings.